right, happy Easter, everybody. Uh, Easter mor morning. Um, for those that celebrate Easter, happy Easter. I celebrate it too. Um, so we'll be celebrating Easter later on today. But I wanted to share with you guys, um, Easter Bunny was pretty good to me this year. So he brought me a package that I'm going to share with you guys, an unboxing. And um, just, we're going to talk a little bit today about um, my projects, what I've been doing, um, and just kind of how I organize my projects throughout the year. And take a look at my Excel stat sheet I have for a HAPA. So let's get this out. We'll go over some recent purchases for all the games I have. And I'll show you how I organize things on my Excel sheet. So. We have a really, really heavy package here. Um, let's get this on. Let's go like this. So that's priority mail. And we're just gonna bust it open, and see what we got inside, see what the Easter Bunny brought me. Um, I'm not a huge sweets person, so I'm not, I mean, I do like chocolate, but I'm more of like an eggs, you know, I guess. Easter egg person or like a hard-boiled egg or scrambled eggs but but the Easter Bunny knew that I didn't really like sweets so he brought me something priority mail instead let's see what we got let's see oops still check about my my uh, camera there I can see that all right all right, let's see what we got. So, again, we'll do the detective work here. Where did this come from? Oh my goodness. The same place as before, Southern Pines, North Carolina. I'm guessing some of you guys out there um, know where this came from. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. So we have a box, board, and these things, more paper. All right, let's look at this first. So what did we get here? All right, we got Fall Classic Baseball. Um, Again, Greg Sovan uh, hits the mark. Plus, uh, you guys with your videos on this game, there's a lot of them. You guys were speaking very highly of Fall Classic Baseball. And I'm speaking low, my family's sleeping, but I wanted to get this um, early morning unboxing in. Um, on a personal note, like feeling really good. I've been doing um, this. Uh, I don't want to say like a weight loss, but uh, just a couple of this my personal journey here. I during the pandemic, I put on some weight. I was like two seventy, and then uh, right during a pandemic, I um right about a year into it, so like twenty twenty one, early twenty twenty one. I was like looking down. I'm like God. I'm like I put on some weight here. So I stepped on a scale first time in a long time, and uh, I was at 292, which I had never been near that in my whole life. So um, what I did, I just kind of watched my uh, sweets, and I started this um, program, which actually worked really well for me. It wasn't restrictive at all. It's called intermittent fasting, where um, you you eat for four hours a day and then you fast for 20 hours a day so you don't eat anything but water or coffee for 20 hours but then you know, there's a four hour window every day you eat and then a few times a month um, you go uh, do an extended fast so it's like a, you do a two or three day fast and I'll tell you what you feel like you think you'll be hungry you, your hunger goes away because your body goes into ketosis so you start like basically your body starts eating itself. Um, so this morning I hit a weight loss goal 
and I was really excited about it. Um, I went down to 255 from a high of 292 uh, last year. So I don't know if that's causing all this buying frenzy of baseball games, but I'm just been feeling really good. I, my health is, feels better than ever. And uh, it's, it's really nice. It fits really well with my light because you're not restricted at all in what you eat. But aside from that, I just wanted to tell you guys, feel good, happy Easter, things are going great. Um, Fall Classic Baseball, like I said, I knew Greg Sovan. Um, I mentioned in a previous video, he was a commissioner in an Apple League I was in. And I uh, actually got a chance to uh, hang out with him in 2008 in Las Vegas at the uh, Apple Convention. Uh, we spent some time talking. We actually even rolled some games of roulette. But um, his games are great, great stuff. I mean, they're uh, kind of give an example of what I was doing. So that when you order the game, it, they, they sends you these PDFs of the actual um, season you bought before the season even gets there. So you could print them out and take a look at them and. Um, Kind of one fun thing I was doing was I was just kind of uh, running some test at bats. I got Rondell White versus Mike Thurman, the Expos, and um, you know, one of the fun things aside from playing the games themselves is just uh, kind of like how Dave Gardner puts it, is like cracking the code. And uh, I'll tell you what, that's a fun. Sometimes it's just as fun as like rolling a, an individual game is just sitting down with these cars the rules and just kind of like running some test at bats and just kind of see how each engine um, handles the game of baseball and it's really and Greg's really a smart guy and his games are on point with uh, his detail and his um, how he covers everything in a simplistic manner so uh, so we got fall classic here I got the print charge because um as good as things are going, I still, uh, my wife and I have invested in a printer. We did have a printer, but we, it was, we were getting tired of the ink and all that. So we, we just print stuff at work if we need to, or um, I just, I actually like how George and Greg print these charts. Um, so here's the charts you could see. I mean, a lot of these, there's a lot of videos out there about fall classic baseballs. So I won't get too detailed into that, but um, so I got the charts here. Let's see what came next with this. Because we got some other stuff from George. So uh, at the recommendation of Tony and a bunch of other guys on the boards, I got the fast action cards. Um, and I played a couple test games with the uh, PDFs. And these do really um, amazingly speed up this game. So it makes it flow like incredible. Um, so fast action cards for this. I plan on also getting fast action cards for um, Play Ball and Field Day. Those are the other uh, Greg Sovan games I own. So, um, what season did we buy here? Let's see. Oops, oops, oops. This is really heavy. Holy smokes. All right. Got some stuff here. Oh man, that is heavy. That is a lot of player cards. All right, let's start out. Um, as you guys know, I'm a golfaholic, and um, I got um, a course for my ASG game, which uh, I've been enjoying. I've got even bought some um, seasons for the PC recently as well. So. Uh, so what I got here is a TPC Harding Park. This is where um, there was a comment on a Delphi board by one of my other acquaintances, um, CC Apa fan, last year when this uh, actually a couple years ago now when the pandemic was going on, they held the PGA Championship here uh, with no fans, and um, Colomar Carl won it. But CC Apa fan put a comment on Delphi forums how this could be probably the most visually um, beautiful course he's ever seen and I agree with him uh, if you go back and I play a lot of golf but if you go back and watch that um, broadcast of the uh, 2020 um, PGA Championship held here 
this course is amazingly beautiful. I mean, there's like palm trees and it's just trees, the way the tree line fairways go. I mean, the, the board course isn't going to cover that as well, but uh, I'm looking forward to you know, playing some of this because that, if you YouTube that, that, that course is amazingly beautiful. So looking forward to it. And so we got some ASG golf that aside here okay what season did we buy let's actually crack this whole thing open we bought the 1999 season for fall classic let's take a look here so Greg does a, they stack these cards I might have to put these in uh, plastic bags here but we'll take a look here let's take them all out three four eight seven well, there are a reason a couple reasons why I bought 99 season let's go to batter stack one see how Greg starts this out okay so you got the they come like this okay so he's starting with the Anaheim Angels let's see if he, who he goes he goes to Baltimore Orioles so this is so I guess stack one starts with the American League and he's going alphabetically got the Red Sox Nomar Garcia Parr really good season there only Moses, he got the 1,022 OPS with his uh, taking his um, batting gloves off and on incessantly. 38, amazing. Look how, put this in perspective of today's players. I mean, this guy got 27 home runs, 100 RBIs, 1,022 OPS, 39 strikeouts. Come on. I mean, this is real baseball. Like, back then there's 39 strikeouts some guys get that in a month all right so let's uh so you got the red Sox. okay so oh so he kind of mixed up a little bit so he's got his the angels hitters and he's got the orioles white Sox. looks like all their hitters indians then he goes to Travis Fryman. He's always one of my favorite players. I mean, he just was like solid early on for the Tigers. I mean, he was almost going to be like the heir apparent to Trammell. So I, love, I love this era. So let's see. Pick Isaac. Okay, so now they're getting into the pitcher cards for Angels. It looks like he does a set of batter cards and a set of pitcher cards. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm kind of um, trying to get away from rubber banding things, as everybody knows from Strat, um, Strat, you know, rubber bands exploding and all that. So I actually found these, uh, let's see, I actually found these, um, Five and a tenth inch, four and a seven tenth inch uh, snack bags at my local grocery store. You know, a lot of them were like uh, like three by six, and amazingly, this was a kind of like an oddball one, which um, it was smaller, so like it kind of fit right what I was doing here. So I have this for uh, I'm going to use these for these Greg Sovan cards. Kind of give an example of what it looks like once I have them all in. The angels aren't in here, but we got to sort these out. But let's just want to show you guys what it looks like here. I have bought cards or envelopes from Chris White, the guy on the um, his Facebook group. He does excellent work too. But if you're looking for a little bit less expensive option, I just put them in my uh, plastic bags instead of uh, rubber banding them. So I kind of like that a little bit better. 
So, all right, we're gonna sort that out this morning. We're gonna play some fall classic a little bit later. Have some fun here in Easter morning. Very early in the morning, it's like 418 here in Pittsburgh. So, let's put this aside here. We're gonna go over, um, I'm gonna pull the phone down. I'm gonna show you my uh, screen. And I wanna show you guys um, some of my projects and what I've been working on here. And just kinda of how I organize my projects throughout the year. So, um, some of you guys may know, I do a lot of Apple Master game replays. Um, so, so I finished like four or five seasons or full leagues like every game uh, from like the last 15 16 years so uh, let me sh show you guys uh, where I'm at with those projects okay let me put my phone down here Alright, so this is uh, just a spreadsheet I have, um, you know, like doing a full league replay is really, um, takes a lot of dedication and organization and goal setting and it's not for everybody. I mean, guys I know don't like to have goals for this hobby. They like to just, you know, play what they want when they want. Um, However, if you are interested in doing a full league replay, it is going to require in a reasonable amount of time. Um, it does take some discipline and goal setting so far as like what you're doing. Um, if you want to get this things, these things done in a reasonable amount of time. So, um, for example, I did the 2006 American League replay. I played every single game. That was my very first completed replay. Um, I did it in 18 months, and um, it takes, uh, I was averaging about 20 games a week. That was probably about 15 years ago, and um, I didn't deviate from that um, project at all, like into any other side projects while I was doing it. So there's some guys who were very, very dedicated on boards, like Delphi boards, like Greg Barreth, and the, those football replays, I mean, very focused, doesn't deviate. Uh, once he finishes a project, he goes to the next season he wants to do. Um, so very little in area side projects. Um, so with the steroid era, this year, if you look actually more over here, uh, what I've been doing um, this season, this 2022 was, um, I started the year out, I was rolling a uh, huge tournament uh, with Replay Baseball. It actually was a, a 2020 season. Um, the massive tournament the Dodgers ended up winning. That was a 119 game project. That was all cards and dice. And I used ball stat for stats. Um, but that was really fun. Um, I wanted to get to know that season a little bit better you know, for as weird as it was. Um, right now, aside from my steroid era lifelong project, I'm, I started this uh, 2021 play, MLB playoffs with the Master Game. I'm posting those on the Delphi forums. Um, halfway done with that so actually that's gonna be I'm gonna finish that probably this week and uh, see who wins the 2021 MLB playoffs that's a replay I'm using the actual lineups for that and uh, that's been a lot of fun um, another project I start which is really enjoyable I just done a lot of time to put towards it but um, are we playing a 10 game series with the payoff pitch with uh, 1994 Red Sox and Pirates? Um, so that one I'm three games into, but those are my current projects I have now. I also play some one off game um, matches of golf, etc. But you can see my average this year has been pretty low. Um, so I kind of track my stats. You guys might think this is like crazy when you're tracking how many games you're playing, but. It really helps you stay focused. Um, and you think, like, why do you do like long replays like that? Don't you get tired of the game, tired of the teams in the season? But you do at times. Um, however, um, the reward at the end of these replays is extremely great because you feel like you um, 
you actually accomplished something pretty major and you've created like a whole sea reality of a season which may have possibly could have existed and you really got to see the ends the strengths and weaknesses of every team that season so the reward is amazing with these uh, replays that's why I do them um, also another big plus this week is I got my um, hotel and plane reservation for the APA convention that's coming up in uh, June so I've been going to those every year since 2005 and I've made a lot of friends there tremendous they're like family to me these guys and uh, I love them to death so we'll be uh, we'll be seeing those guys in June once we get together and uh, we all meet up in Atlanta at the APA headquarters all right, so let's go to. Um, I want to show you guys my uh, how I. Another thing I did recently is I organized my collection. Now, one bad thing about having so many of these games, just kind of looking on the room. I mean, I got games there, packaging there, got some supplies there. I got my uh, score sheets and stuff there. So over there, I still got some uh, payoff pitch, some another course, app of golf. 2003 I have the Belfry down there for Epic Golf so one drawback of having all these um, being blessed to have all these games is sometimes it's hard to stay focused on these uh, projects so like see right here I had a couple weeks where I just played like seven games of this uh, steroid era and I was normally like I said before I gotta do can do if I'm doing a whole season I'll do like 20 games a week but like sometimes you get sidetracked, which actually I think it's a good thing because it keeps it fresh. Um, but like it really drags down. So you can see I have about 300 games to go of uh, 87 National League. Let's go through the collection here. Um, what I recently did is I organized my uh, sports sims to, and I put tabs on here of all the different games. So I have Apple Baseball, Apple Football, Apple Hockey. Apple Golf, Apple Soccer, ASG Golf, Replay Baseball, Skeeter Soft Baseball, which is essentially Apple with homebrew rolls by Bill Staffa, Action PC Baseball, Action PC Golf. Stratomatic Baseball, Stratomatic Hockey, Stratomatic Football, Pine Tar Baseball, Replay Basketball, and Greg Sovan Games. We have some more here Inside Pitch Baseball, Payoff Pitch Baseball. And I'm developing a plan right now for my backup for my uh, computer because I'm using this really old laptop to um, play all these games on. And this laptop is like from 2008, but I treat it very nicely. So I'm trying to like this stuff we do in this hobby is uh, really like basically software from the 90s. So it's really not taxing this computer too much, but it is a little bit slow compared to modern computers. So I'm, I hope. Hopefully, eventually, uh, maybe this summer, getting a new laptop. Let's go through one of the most recent purchases from all these games. So, like Apple Baseball, uh, my most recent purchase uh, a couple weeks ago, I bought the. Um, these are all the seasons I own of Apple Baseball. And here's a. Uh, I have BBW over here, specialty sets, all my boards. Um, most recent set I. Or, thing I bought was I just bought the 2021 uh, ballpark effects for use in that um, 2021 MLB playoffs so you see I got an X right there under 2021 um, and then I also bought the uh, 88 uh, BBW uh, season file for BBW I love 88, it's one of my favorite seasons. Probably gonna be one of the next uh, steroid era once I'm finished 87. I'll be finished 87 probably later in the summer. I'm probably gonna, 88's gonna be the next uh, chapter in that 88 American League. 
Uh, got to have some Apple Go seasons, uh, specialty sets. Okay, Apple football. Uh, last year in a convention, I bought the uh, 70, right after the convention, I bought the 73 set. Um, so that's my most recent purchase for Apple football. So I really like enjoy that. I think I'm going to put a video out here sometime soon, not to say when, but um, with my setup I have, I got this new um, camera, as you can see, uh, stand, which looks really good. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, like you, you could probably show the field in Apple football a lot better with this camera, with this setup. So I'm going to play maybe some Apple football on the channel. One thing I want to get with this is I'm, I have a I'm trying to get a complete run of these ACC seasons with the pit teams on, especially this. They have a new set out with the uh, um, New Year's Day six games for last year, which Pitt was on in, involved with that. They lost a really tough game to Michigan State, um, but still, I mean, Pitt was you know it's another one of my passions in life outside of golf and these games is uh, pit football. So I'm hoping to get that set here sometime soon. Probably get that at a convention or something. All right, so Apple Hockey. Um, really had a fun time. I'm playing a lot of Apple Hockey recently with the uh, convention tournament going on. Um, right now I'm playing a gentleman um, in North Carolina, Marty. Um, he's actually beaten me with the um, 7980 Islanders. We're playing the third period on Monday night actually Monday afternoon so I'm losing four to one I'm playing the 88 89 Flames so I won the first game last Sunday versus a great guy Paul um, I beat the 89 Flames beat the 71 Bruins but that was a that was a good game and I'm playing Marty now and he's beating me four to one so we'll see if the Flames can come back I have about five more games to go in that tournament and we'll see if we make the playoffs here's my Apple hockey Apple Golf, um, I just bought this Belfry set and I bought this 2003 um, season card set for them. I've been getting really into this Belfry course. This is kind of like a part of the OCD completionist that um, you know, some of us, I should say most of us have, is uh, I really enjoy playing this Belfry course on, um, what was it, uh, I bought it first on ASG Golf, and it was really fun to play. It was really it was a Ryder Cup course, and um, I thought it was a fun game. To, and then um, I bought it for Appa. I also just got it for Action PC. It was really cheap. It was like uh, I don't want to say four or five bucks. I mean, Dave Cox Sports, Coach Sports, really you know, has some good deals. If you're looking to buy, if you're looking for. <laughs> looking for like instant gratification action PC sports is where it's at I mean, literally like as soon as you hit submit of your purchase it's like instantaneously like available to you to download so it's it's good for those if you're looking for like that quick fix of like a retail therapy of these games is a uh, action PC sports strat too they do that but these are all my courses for Appa golf Appa soccer um, I haven't bought anything for that in a while. Uh, I bought this uh, 1920 Champions League tournament uh, final 16. And again, this this is another fun season, fun game that it doesn't get a lot of tabletop time. But when I do, it's always you walk away. It's like that's a, that was a fun game. So let's go next. ASG Golf. So we got the 90s board game, uh, we have these board courses, Oakmont, PGA West, TPC, Harding Park, and I have these courses for the um, PC. So actually, I, I thought I had this nine holes, like I thought they would let you keep it when you buy it. They don't let you keep this um, demo, so I'm actually going to delete that, because I don't have that. So I have actually, actually I just bought Carnoustie for that, so let's, I bought that last weekend. We're gonna put that in here. That was actually probably one of my most recent purchases. So put Carnoustie in there. We'll save that. All right, let's keep going. Replay. Uh, my most recent purchase here is a few weeks ago. I think I got the '70s Diamond Decades 
which was pretty fun. Replay is the crowd is the uh, gold standard of these games when it comes to PC. Um, I mean, it's really amazing, like what he does with his schedules. The his photos are really easy to download. Um, the game is really fun itself. The engine's amazing. So P Ventura does an amazing job with this company. Can't say much more about that. So I got all the diamond decades. Um, this, this, I'm actually play some of this this morning. I mean, Replay is such, such a fun game. All right, let's keep going here. Skeeter Soft, you know what? Um, Skeeter Soft. I I was buying Skeeter Soft back about 15 years ago. Um, actually, about 12 years ago. Um, Apple went through a period. Um, before they moved to Atlanta, when they were still like when their last days in Lancaster, and they didn't really have a lot of product to sell, it was kind of like almost like Strat like, where you can only buy like a couple of recent seasons and maybe a few different old seasons, and that was it. Um, but obviously, now it's all changed. Apple sells every season out there um, that you want, but during that time, um. Skeetersoft is basically APA with homebrew rules. Um, cards were kind of like created with uh, Bill Staffa's <clears throat> formulas, but it is APA with some homebrew rules. So I bought some 70s sets. I was trying to build my collection when there wasn't much available from APA. And I uh, since sold them off, but I did keep a few of them. For example, I kept the 71, uh, 1980, 1955 legacy seasons. I do have a one season for the MP3 scorecard, which was, uh, it's a nice, it's like a card and dice uh, scoring helper. Um, that's even fun to play sometimes. Um, then I got a few seasons for the MP3 PC game, which that's fun. Uh, not a lot of graphics and stuff. It's kind of like just the real meat and potatoes, cards and dice, but it's fun. Action PC baseball. Um, this is Mr. Uncle Ron's um, specialty. Um, this game is really fun. I think Ron actually even got me into this um, game just from watching his videos at work. But uh, I got the 1899. Actually, you could see I bought that because of Dave's Spiders. I want to play it also myself. 74 came with it, uh, 89, 99, 2019. And they got the greatest team, so that's that's always fun to play too. You can tell I kind of like baseball. Action PC golf. We got some courses. I uh, got some golfers. I just bought 1994 recently for that, which was kind of neat. I just bought the um, Belfry also for that, and I got some of my favorite courses. You can see I got Harding Park also for that one. I think I bought that Harding Park right after that um, tournament that was played there. Okay, let's keep going here. Stratomatic Baseball. I haven't bought much from Strat recently. Um, I think the most recent thing I got from Stratomatic was that when they issued that, reissued that 98, when they had that, those things, they were redoing those seasons every year, um, 98. They reissued 98, so I bought that, even though it doesn't have all the players. Um, I didn't buy the... I got the 2019. That was the last time I bought the PC season. Um, so I didn't buy that. Yeah, the only season I got for 2021 is uh, Apple right now. So let's move along. Again, fun game. Just not enough hours in a day for that. Stratomatic Hockey. I was dabbling around with this um, a month or so ago, I got that 0203 season around Christmas. I played some games of that. Um, one thing with this uh, 91 set, I think I'm going to do. I actually uh, sent some PDFs on PF pitch to my local uh, Staples. They printed them out real nice in color on cardstock for me. It wasn't that expensive either. Um, so I think I'm going to do the same with that 91 set because that 91 was a six teamer and they give you the rest on PDFs. 
So I might actually send some hockey teams over there to uh, have them print up. So again, I don't know if it's part laziness or part what, but I just, I don't like printing things out myself. And I actually don't even have a printer, so. All right, let's go Stratomech football. I was on a little binge with these last fall. I was getting really into these 70s seasons. So I got 72, 73, 74, 2020. Um, I have one full season of the cards, um, 1960. I played a couple games of that. It was kind of fun learning some of those guys. But um, I said, I had not much time in the day to play that. I know ID Jester did some really nice charts he sent me, which I'm going to, I'm, I still have them on my hard drive, and I'm going to use them because um, he, uh, he put some time into it and it was a nice uh, way to do the play calling for like how many uh, linebackers are in the zone and all that so uh, i'm going to use that at some point with uh, stratomatic football pine tar baseball um so i want to talk about pine tar baseball real quick this is a good game um it's a lot of fun it has some nice components one thing I had fun doing with Pine Tar is I uh, just cutting some cards out. So this came on sheets. You could see this is like the Tigers all time greats team. This was on sheets and I uh, I see I cut them out. And I had a nice uh, one of those little cutters you get to uh, slice cards. Let's see if I can, if I can show it to you guys. Is. Oh, here it is. So you see, you got this uh, thing to um, cut cards with, which is kind of fun. I don't want to say it's fun, but it, it was pretty relaxing. It's like basically like male knitting. That's what I call it uh, when you're cutting cards. So I feel like uh, like an old grandma, like on a wheelchair, on a wheelchair or rocking, like knit, knitting. You know, passing away their retirement years. Not passing away, but during the, but you know what I mean. Um, basically knitting. So I call it like uh, cutting those cards and stuff, like male knitting. Um, so replay basketball. Another fun game. I don't have a lot of time to play it, but I have the 92 93. Sometimes I pull that a set of those out just to kind of look at some of the like star players. I have dice and no dice version. I have 1819 PC. I have the greatest teams on PC. All right, and this is what I'm kind of getting into recently is like this Greg Sovan stuff. I'm kind of like in the kind of collecting this, really enjoying these. Cause like I said, this is extremely relaxing. I mean, one day uh, before work this week, I, uh, I just pulled out like their field day baseball and I just wanted to kind of understand their fielding, how he handles it. And it was like extremely fun. I mean, I just pulled out, there's a field day card for the Expos. And um, I was just looking, going through the charts and looking to see that uh, play result 51, 52, 53. I was just trying to understand how the uh, fielding works. And I mean, that is just so therapeutic for your like psyche is just sitting down with those rolls and those cards and just kind of like studying them and seeing how he does it and, and what I did is I bought uh, so roster card I, I got five seasons back he doesn't sell individual seasons anymore you have to buy like the whole every season in baseball history but even that was pretty fun I was even watching some of his videos this week from like Ivy Jester and Ron Jockett's old roster card video just uh, that's kind of a fun game. You know, field day baseball. So I got um, a couple seasons. I got the 90s all time. Play ball, I got 94. And just this morning, I got fall classic baseball. I already put it in there. Okay, inside pitch. Another fun game. Um, I like this game because I'm really into like complexity and detail and roles and things. and. This game is really, you know, that base running, I mean, it is just, uh, it's, it could be daunting, but I think this is really kind of a fun game, how that pitcher, you look, you know, you 
the pitcher controls the hits, walks, strikeout, or the home runs, walks, strikeouts, and then if they don't get that, then it goes to the batter's card. And I think this game's really fun. I just, like I said, not, not a lot of time to play it. Payoff pitch. So you got a bunch of payoff pitch seasons, 91, 94. Actually, not a bunch, but just two seasons. That's a, I'm working on a 94 Pirates Red Sox project. So that's that's pretty fun. I might get the uh, the fast action cars for this here in a few weeks. That's it, folks. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Have a nice, uh, good time here this morning. See, as I say, I have uh, ASG season. I have uh, my 2021. That's my project I'm working on right now. The playoffs. I have some field day cards. We got some printed out PDFs of. Fall Classic, and we got our Fall Classic games here. So life is good here. This is a praise God for all these blessings. But good times. Just talking to my wife and just telling her how much uh, fun this stuff is. She understands, which is good. Uh, she's like her and I played some games of this before that, but before we even got married. So she kind of knew what she was getting into. So, um, hope you guys have an excellent Easter. Um, enjoy your family. We're heading out myself to my mom and dad's. We're going to have that uh, lunch over there. Then we're going to drive about an hour away to my uh, in-laws. And we'll be spending some Easter time over there with them. My son's home from college. So we're going to have the whole family together, which is kind of rare. So it uh, should be a good time. But until that all happens, I'm going to roll some games and uh, do some organizing. Just have a good time. So... Thanks a lot for everybody's videos out there. Like I said, they really, um, really add to my day. I mean, all you guys, I don't want to leave anybody out. I mean, by listening to like Ron and Dave and Al and ID, Jester and Robert, uh, Anthony's videos, um, even just some recent guy who's, who was um, coming out with on base baseball. I was just watching some of his videos and. There's a guy, Excel Shrimp Trawler video, which he does like these Excel um, strat games. And uh, I listen to them on my way to work on my phone, and it's like better than music. And it's just a, just a good time, and um, it's just nice to be part of this community. All right, have a great morning. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.